Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Emerald Deep Zoological Park and Planet Zoo. Now, I know I said something about giant river otters last at the end of the last episode, the Bengal Tiger episode, but I kind of changed my mind. I decided to fill this hole in, the one that is occupied by a big box that says Malayan Tapers. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build that habitat instead of the otters. Uh, we might do the otters next week. I don't know yet. We shall see. Now, I did want to do a little rearranging here. Yeah, let's put that over there. Thank you very much. And then what I want to do is this. Okay, let's move that to six. And then we will have it come around. Like so. Now, this is not really an elevator. I mean, it's elevated by about half a foot. So let's go ahead and uh, get those guardrails off of there. You know, technically that's an elevated path because, I mean, look at it, but it's it's not really all that elevated. So anyway, and uh, that's the, the air conditioning unit that I moved. We're going to move it again. We're going to put it right here. Okay. Now, uh, with the Malayan tapirs, we're going to give them uh, uh, quite a bit of this space here. And I'll see what I can do with it. You know what? No. We're going to do that after. We're going to do this first. Let's see. Where do I want it? Where do I want it? Okay. I don't want the full four, four meter depth. What I want is something like that. All right. And that's, this is just to give me a starting point. Because what I'm going to do... do is now go through and flatten various areas and then I will go about uh, putting in the barrier <coughs> the barrier lines excuse me for the cough um, after we get everything flattened out now I should tell you something I'm recording this on Halloween night and we are Whoop, that's my insulin alarm. Uh, we are offering candies, uh, uh, candy to the kids who come and trick or treat. So if I, out of nowhere, go, hold on just a second, guys, and put the game on pause and disappear for a moment, it's because my doorbell rang and I got to go give out candy. Um, you know, you got to stick with tradition, guys. You got to. I was a hardcore enthusiastic trick-or-treater as a kid and I support that behavior in young people now so you know I want I want kids today to have you know children today to have the same fun that I did 
Only I want him to. I, I want it to be safer. Because let's let's be brutally honest. My my childhood was not the safest. You know, <laughs> it wasn't that people didn't care. It's just we didn't know any better. You know, that's all. So. uh... All right, let's see how we're gonna do this. What do I wanna use? Oh, first, I wanna lower this into the ground just a little bit since I'm passing by and just happen to notice. There we go. All right. And these are tapirs. I could do something like that, but I don't particularly want to. Let me borrow some of this for a minute. All right, that'll work. That's the music I'm playing in the background from the game. Um... For those of you who saw the last episode, you know, when I was kind of feeling under the weather, I am feeling better. Um, I'm not 100% yet. You know, it usually takes me two or three days to shake, uh, to shake a cold, and I think that's what was going on. I didn't have all the classic symptoms of a cold, but I had enough of them. And I think I just basically had a one-day cold. <clears throat> so anyway... What else do I want here? No, I don't need any of that. I'm trying to find uh, good looking habitat walls that I can copy around. Oh, here it is. That'll work. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to the time lapse. And I will talk to you on the other side of it. Now that we know basically what we're going to do, I'm turning all this into a habitat for the Malayan tapir. It's going to be pretty good. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you on the other side.
So here we go. This is our Malayan tapir habitat. I like it. Um, doing it this way where I lowered everything and then elevated the middle uh, just to fill the sides with water. I don't know where I got the idea, but I think it worked out pretty well. Our, our tapirs are having a good time. And uh, I did manage to include a really huge, oh, they're getting sexy, sexy time. Um, I did get, manage to include a really huge waterfall. It looks fantastic. The, uh, the Malayan ruins on the top are just great. It works. Um, yeah, these are some really good animals. Uh, uh, I don't use them very often, but you know, look at them, they're happy. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's it for the Mullion Taper episode. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Oh boy, we're about to get a poop. And we're pooping. We're pooping in synchronicity. Okay. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, I am interested in hearing from you, so please leave those comments below. The next episode will definitely be the giant otters. That'll finish out the uh, wetlands um, section of our park. I am going to need to make sure that this water is being purified, so, you know, because, hey, they're drinking out of it. I might not have needed to put that, that water pipe. So yeah, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Definitely giant otters. Bye-bye.